Hello this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial we are going to see the variable scope in C. Uh, variable scope is nothing but you know the region where our variable is available. So there are two types of scopes. One is called a global scope and another one is called uh, the local scope. When a variable has a global scope uh, that variable is available to all the functions in the file so we can also uh, call it as a file scope so to use a variable as a global scope variable then we have to declare it you know outside of its all the functions so a variable has a local scope when it is declared inside a function or you know inside these two curly braces or you know block of course okay now let's see it uh, in detail first of all in my main function I'm gonna create a variable a so since this a is within this main function this a is available only within this main function suppose we have function which is uh, or increment here then the variable a is not available in this increment uh, function just because you know this variable a has a local scope so we can use this variable in this main function only what if we want to use a variable in the main function as well as in, in the increment function so for that we need to define a variable in the global scope for that we have to declare it outside all these functions so we're gonna declare this variable you know after this pre processive directives I'm gonna declare a variable called b outside all these functions and I'm gonna assign it with a value of 0 and now we're gonna use this variable b in main function as well as in our increment function we're gonna use a printf function to display that first we're gonna write um, percentage d uh, a new line then um, refer this variable as b so just copy this uh, statement and paste it here First, we need to call this, you know, increment function from this main function to, you know, view the uh, value of b in both the functions, and also we need to do this function prototyping. So I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste here and add a semicolon. So prototyping is done. Then we need to call this function increment. So increment. That's it. Mm, now we're gonna say from main here. Then we're gonna say from increment and now save it compile it and run it so as you can see here from the main of function this value of b is 0 and from this uh, increment function this value of uh, b is 0 what if we increment this value in this main function so first we're gonna print the b value then we're gonna increment this that's gonna be b plus plus then save it compile it and run it now from the main function the value of b is 0 just because you know uh, we use this printf to you know print the value of b before incrementing so from the increment function we have this um, value of b equal to 1 that's because you know in the main function this value was incremented and that is a global variable and um, when we change this global variable in uh, any of the functions then that change will be reflected in all the functions so close it another thing I wanna explain you is uh, about the variable names so in the main function we have a variable or the local variable called a then we can also have the same variable in some other function maybe a function called uh, display and uh, we can have the same variable here and the values of this variable if in this display and the variable a in this main will be independent of each other so in the main function our a may contain a value equal to 10 and we're gonna print it from a the value of a is uh, a new line then refer this variable a then it's from the main function then comment this out 
I mean comment this all the codes about you know the variable b comment this increment statement also so now in the display function also we're gonna do the same thing so we're gonna copy this printf function and uh, we're gonna write here okay we're gonna as in this a equal to uh, 20 and here we're gonna write from this display function then we need to call this display function and for that before that we have to prototype this display function we're gonna do that by copy and pasting here add a semicolon then we're gonna call this display function here I'm gonna call it we have to remove this void from here now save it compile it and run it so now as you can see from the main the value of a is 10 and from the display function the value of a is 20 so the name of the variable is same there's the a but the value is different in different different functions another thing I want to tell you is what if we declare a local variable here in the display function with the name with the same name as this global variable let's say b and I'm gonna assign it with a value of 30 so let's print this value I'm gonna copy and paste here and I'm gonna write from this display function b is okay save it okay uh, compile it and run it so as you can see here from the display b is 30 just because when we execute this display function when that uh, display function encounters the variable b first it's gonna search for that variable b in its local scope if that variable is found in a local scope then it's gonna use that variable from the local scope uh, suppose that variable is not present here okay let's comment it out now this display function will search for the variable b in the global scope so here that b is present that's why it, it's gonna use this b variable and print the value zero here so if this variable b is not present in its global scope also then it's gonna arise an error so let's save this work and compile it and run it so now as you can see uh, from the display b is 0 that's because you know from the global scope that b value is 0 so this is it guys uh, this is about the variable scope in c uh, thank you for watching and uh, i see you in the next tutorial